Hello, hello everyone. Hi, can you all see me? Hello, can you all see me? If you all can see me, um, let's do some audio check first. Huh? Can you all see me? If you all can see me, can you give me some response uh, in the comment there? Oh, I see people giving me love and like already. <laughs> can you all type something like, some? give me some icon, some you know, good or something like that, so I know you guys are with me or you all can hear me clearly. Alright, now I think we have um, six people with us now. Hi, Kylie. Hi. Okay, now I can see you all are with me. Alright, um, thank you for joining us on our Facebook Live uh, now. And meanwhile, before we start the real session, could you help us to share to your friends and family? There's a share icon there in Facebook. Help us to share to um, your friends and family, to different of your groups, uh, Facebook groups, so that they uh, know that we have this session. So regardless of what they are doing, I have to leave everything behind and come join us this session, okay? So, alright, just to introduce myself. Um, hi! Aiki, hi Carmen. Uh, just to introduce myself, I'm Kimberly from Penang Green Council. So thank you again once again for joining us on Facebook Live. Um, just a brief introduction about our organization. Penang Green Council, we are a government link organization that is established by Penang State Government in 2011 to nurture and also facilitate, coordinate all the environmental costs uh, in Penang. Okay, so this is our very first Sembang session, as you can see Sembang uh, on Facebook Live. Um, so what is Sembang session? Sembang session basically is a virtual activity platform that was designed uh, during MCO so that we can actually uh, bring uh, or discuss about different environmental topics uh, by interviewing different experts from different fields through borderless classroom. So we want to expand it to people that is not uh, within Penang, uh, beyond Penang, uh, in other state, in other country. Okay? Yeah, so um, actually this is our second time of doing Sembang. Previously we tried it, uh, we did it in uh, Zoom, and this time we tried it on Facebook Live. So um, thank you um, uh, for joining us uh, today. Okay, so our topic for the Sembang today is thinking of starting your own zero waste lifestyle. So I can see the things that's behind me is actually my um, parents' uh, invention of uh, upcycle products. So you can see this one is rice bag and this one is foil line packaging made from the biscuit wrapper. And uh, we also have uh, this one is the five liter of water bottle, so we can use it to cover our food. Yeah. So, yeah, if you have any upcycle product, please uh, send your photo on the comment there so that more people can be inspired by your invention, by your creativity, and they can start trying to do or invent their own upcycle product. Okay, don't be shy, just pop, just send them in on the comment. Okay, keep it flowing. So, today it's a positive day, it's a, the weather is good, let us uh, spread our positivity to people, okay? So while waiting for more people to uh, join us in this session, let me just share with you the reason why uh, we choose this topic. Okay, so I believe many of us uh, have realized our day-to-day -day, um, habits have changed since MCO. Um, how to say change that? If you have realized uh, after MCO, more people are more inclined towards zero contact delivery um, to practice social distancing. So, for example, they are more inclined towards online shopping or uh, food delivery, okay? So, with that, it actually indirectly contributes to the rise of uh, waste generated among us. So, just to give you some facts, um, Penang nights, on average, we are generating 1.1 uh, litre of waste daily and up to 1,800 tonne uh, of waste are actually sent to landfill daily, okay? So uh, in Penang, we only have one landfill. So if do you guys know where is our landfill? Um, if you all know, could you all actually um, type it in in the comment? Um, do you all know where is our landfill in Penang? 
just type it in your question, uh, your answer, like just a guess, no problem. No, nope? nobody know. Mm -hmm. I would, I would actually share to people wherever I go. Eh? Okay. Um, actually, our landfill, the only landfill that is in Penang, it's located in Pulau Burong, uh, Nibong Tebao. So, um, as we know, Penang, uh, our land is limited. And if looking by the amount of waste that's generated, you know, imagine if all the waste that's generated sent to our Pulau Burong landfill, do you think, how long do you think it can actually fit all our waste there? Yeah, Pulau Burong, Wailing, correct, you are correct. So, there has to be something, uh, something needs to be done to reduce. If not, if we keep on abuse our landfill, eventually it will uh, fill up someday. And that's time where we have to figure out new place uh, to dump our waste. Okay, so um, having said that, that's why I still hope that uh, you guys can actually uh, join us and help us to reduce or minimize our waste. Uh, in our daily from our daily practice, okay. So that's also one of the reason why we invite uh, Mr. Sangha and Miss Jo to join us uh, in this sambang to share with us their zero waste journey, um, how they actually started zero waste, and from there hopefully uh, more more of you can actually get inspired from that. So uh, throughout the session, if you have any question um, to both of our guests, please just type it in in the comment so that they, uh, we can address it after the session, after the Zenbang session with them, okay? So maybe towards the end of the part, okay? So just type it in. And also, uh, later you will see there are questions at the foot crawler there. So um, it's like a survey question. So if possible, please help us to uh, answer. Like they are very simple, later you will know. So just type it in uh, your thoughts so that we know how to connect with you with your daily practices or how to connect with you uh, from your thoughts. Okay, so yeah. And I think that's uh, about it. Okay, hi Wailing, hi Asha. Okay, so actually uh, one of our guests is also on the chat group, Mr. Sangha. So, all right. Um, for those of you who just came in, please help us to share to your friend, okay? There's a share button. Share. And maybe your family, you know, it's like a TV, make it like a TV show. You know? Your family, if they are doing other things, other, ask them to put down all their things left behind. Later, they can still do. It's only one hour. So just enjoy this out, one hour with us to sembang and to get knowledge on this uh, zero waste uh, lifestyle, you know? Uh, we are here today to actually help to understand some uh, difficult questions that people have when they thought of starting, uh, thought of starting their own zero waste lifestyle. So um, I can tell you that Mr. Sangha and Miss Jo is the best uh, person that you can actually ask from. Okay, so um, we still have one minute to eleven. Um, so 11 o'clock, we will introduce our guests from that. Okay, so we still have, that means we still have one minute for you to click and share before we actually introduce the real session. Okay, for those of you who haven't shared, please share. And, all right, Bird Island. Uh, Bird Island, yeah. I also don't know why it's called Pulau Wurong. There must be a reason, okay? So I'm not sure if y'all have been there before. It will be an eye-opening opportunity if you have been there. All right, so it's about time. Um, without uh, any delay, let me introduce our first guest uh, to you guys. Uh, let me bring. Let me introduce Mr. Sangha Sunaya, our first guest. He's the headmaster. Mr. Sangha is the headmaster of the JPT by the bus. Hi, Mr. Sangha. Yeah. <laughs> So he started his zero waste uh, lifestyle since he's 30. Okay, and people who know him will never get surprised whenever they see him uh, carry a big bag of his daily item, including what, including rice cooker, fresh food with him whenever he attend any official meetings or workshops or courses. Okay, so to him, zero waste turned out to be a habit 
you know, that is accumulated from his daily practice. So now it's becoming a habit. And his zero waste lifestyle does not only uh, affect his own or changes his own life, but also the people around him. Okay, uh, as we know, he's a headmaster. So the direct influence will be, apart from his family, will be the students. So uh, if you all have heard about the marvelous achievement done uh, in Sungai Ara, uh, SJKT Sungai Ara, yeah, this is where he developed his first model uh, eco-friendly school. Okay. And yeah, you can see a lot from newspaper and from TV show. Yeah, so that's where he developed. And now he's uh, moving on to SJKT by Lepas. He wants to transform him into a second eco-friendly school where single-use plastic, they already kickstart. Uh, it's not allowed in the school and students are encouraged to practice zero waste lifestyle. So let's welcome Mr. Sangha. Okay. <laughs> So give a response, okay? Like give a like or a love. Yeah. All right. So last but not least, uh, the next guest that I'm going to introduce is Miss Jo uh, from uh, our box store. So let's welcome Miss Jo. Hi, Miss Jo. Hi. So Miss Jo, she's the co-founder of our box store. So in the future, if you are going to practice uh, zero waste lifestyle, this is uh, the store that you must know, okay? Because uh, our box store is the very first uh, zero waste store in Penang, okay? So uh, Miss Jo started uh, his business, uh, her sorry, her business in two thousand nineteen with the purpose of encouraging more people and uh, to live sustainably and consciously, okay? So apart from her zero waste business. She's a full-time software engineer. So the combination of engineer and environmentalist usually, uh, it's, it's, I would say it's very rare and it's very unique. Yet, uh, it's amazing to see how she actually connect her profession and her passion for the environment together. So let's welcome Miss Jo. Hello. Hi. All right. So... All right, hello, Miss Tasanga and Miss Cho. Thank you for joining us today in this uh, Sampang live session. Um, and we hope that you can share with us uh, or our audience more about your zero waste journey, how you started, and everything, so that they can get inspired and eventually join your or uh, follow your footstep and start from their own. Okay. So whenever we talk about zero waste, whenever I go to give talk, you know. Often I can hear people asking me uh, if we are talking about zero waste, is it really possible uh, for us to live one day without generating any waste? Okay, and also people uh, sometimes they will ask, is it very challenging in practicing zero waste lifestyle? So we decided we want to answer all this question one shot in this session. So um, for the, those audience, if you have any question, just uh, post it up on the comment so that um, at the end of the session. So um, that's also why we hope that today we can address this issue. So before uh, we get to the question part, um, can we uh, actually uh, start with uh, either Ms. Mr. Sangha? Can we start with Mr. Sangha? Could you help us to, could you share with us uh, more how you actually started uh, your zero waste life? Now? Uh, zero waste journey. How you actually started? Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, good morning. Attending. Actually, the terms um, I don't bother with the terms of zero waste. Uh, when I started the zero waste lifestyle, um, because I'm my lifestyle is uh, uh, actually I'm uh, be a vegetarian at my twenty first uh, twenty one years old. So after that, I have to find out the food, the, the non chemical food. So that's why I I started to cook my own. So when I start started to cook my own, I don't have to purchase some more things. I don't have to waste the things. So only I purchase a little things, and uh, this has become uh, my lifestyle, and this is already now habit of my this one. I already made uh, um, used to this lifestyle. I see. 
So the beginning of your zero waste journey is where you have the conscious on your the food that you consume. You want to consume yeah. more healthily. Then that's where it lead to it. So how does it lead to that? Because uh, in your introduction uh, that you sent me, I understand that you actually started planting your own, starting your own farm. So could you yeah. share with us more on that part? Right? Yeah, because uh, when I, I just uh, go for uh, non-chemical uh, food, I already started my own uh, plantation. Uh, be, so that time no need to purchase because my, my food style is uh, very simple. So I can uh, can plant a few of the vegetables in uh, around my school and also my home. Uh, although my home is apartment, I can plant a few with the pot and everything. And most of the plantation in, uh, in my school because I spend my whole life, uh, most of the times in school. So. I just plant in a school and get the vegetables. So I don't need to purchase um, non-chemical uh, in other ways. Uh, that is a way I reduce the uh, waste. So then another one, when we plant uh, vegetables, so we don't uh, try to waste the food because that is our own uh, achievement for the plantation. Everything, the vegetables is our own, you know. So we are... Uh, and we need to throw out that. So everything, each and everything, we are going to finish it up. So that is a way that we they already become a style of uh, my vision. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Uh, uh, to be honest, uh, I'm not someone who likes to eat vegetable. But after I start, start to plant my own vegetable, no matter how, uh, how difficult it is to eat or how I don't like the veggie, still I will swallow off them. Because to me, it's like uh, the baby that grow up from your yeah. effort and everything. So that's how you actually started or uh, think of, hey, if I can uh, live not to waste food, then that means I can actually slowly uh, changing my lifestyle by reducing the waste around me. Is that so? Yeah. I see. All right. How about Miss Jo? How do you actually start living zero waste? Yeah, uh, I actually get to know sustainable lifestyle uh, probably five years back uh, when I read a book called The Moneyless Man. Uh, it's a book uh, about an Irish man called Mark Boyle uh, who lived uh, off grid and lived a sustainable lifestyle uh, and recorded his life uh, without spending any money and how he uh, survived uh, living on go his own food and, and using the renewable uh, energy. So, and then since then, I was uh, reading a lot about uh, how, how to live off grid and uh, how to, how to like, uh, uh, generate our own energy and grow our own food, so things like that. And after that, uh, maybe about like two, two years. Two years ago, then I get to know Joey's Malaysia. It's a Facebook group. Um, so the time I was thinking, uh, this zero waste lifestyle actually uh, is correlated with uh, the things that I have read, the sustainable lifestyle that uh, I have been researching all these years. So then, uh, about living off grid actually is not uh, so immediate uh, action that we can do. So and then I think zero waste lifestyle is what everyone can actually uh, start immediately. So that's uh, how I started my own journey. I see. From a, uh, from to, to get inspired from a book, that's where you feel. I think that there must be a seed planted inside your mind saying that, is there something else I can do uh, with my lifestyle to reduce the waste I produce? Then you saw the book and somehow it gives you an, a way uh, for you to start this journey. Yes, okay. yes, it is, yeah. I see. All right. Um, cool. Hi, Miss Josephine. Hi, Shemaine. Hi, we have more people joining us now. All right. So um, from there, could you actually explain or share with us how uh, your change uh, actually uh, affect the people around you? Or how does, it, how does the people around you uh, accept your change or uh, uh, go with it, your change or does, do they accept it well in a sense? 
like your family, your friends. Maybe Miss Jo, you want to share yeah. your point? Yeah. Uh, there, there's a learning curve uh, in, in this journey. Uh, I think a lot of people starting, uh, a lot of zero waster actually start, started uh, with nagging the people around us and making everybody uh, very annoying. <laughs> so uh, soon I realized uh, I gave a lot of stress to the people around me and also myself. Then uh, I changed a little bit, so I stopped nagging and uh, actually I just do what I do and the people around me actually see what I do and they eventually will, will follow and will accept and will respect as well. So, yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. I mean, rather than, uh, sometimes actions speak louder than words. You know, when you start yes. speaking action, people can see and eventually they will want to follow. How about Mr. Sangha? That's so... So my family is uh, no, no, no problem with that because uh, the cooking is a major problem in most of the family because the Malaysian culture, they usually buy the food and this is uh, their style and they have to cook means for vegetarian, that is uh, terrible. If I already start my own cooking, that is uh, easy for them, like, there's uh, no problem for them and there's a simple style uh, of food is uh, uh, make them uh, happy also. Uh. So the family wise, there is uh, no problem. Uh, another one, my friend, every time my friend and my kids in our books, I always I emphasize on this kind of uh, food and this one. Uh. On that time, they feel they feel uh, impressive all this uh, he, uh, every time he told me this is not good uh, like a uh, cap you know this one not good that one no good so later i i, I stopped that just both of them after that they understand what is uh, my way of life so they accept that before that they think if it comes he said this one is wrong that one is wrong this is cannot this is not good uh, that, that kind of uh, problem uh, Sometimes they, they feel uh, um, not a uh, uh, good uh, communicate with me. Sometimes this happened a few after that. No, it's a uh, when beginning only uh, because myself also I'm uh, that is not advice because we care of them. I care of them. That's why I say this is uh, not good. If I'm food like in plastic means I told them like even the teachers also I told this is uh, when you are. Uh, not healthy so that's why they all scale uh, because myself another one uh, uh they, they most are close with me most of the teachers and students are close with me that's why they have to accept that in that moment and that is uh, okay. so other than that i don't face a problem i see true i mean precisely it's because we care for them so that's yeah. why we want to share and yeah. we want to do something in their life uh, hoping that they, it will get better in a sense so it boils down to still the word care for them uh, or, or the love for them okay yes hi miss Bing. okay so if that case um do you think that uh like throughout the session if you have no problem with you know your family supporting you or your friend accepting the changes that you've made in your life is there any like uh, difficult uh, in your life while you practice this zero waste uh, journey? Is there any difficulties that you face? Mr. Sanka? Yes. Yeah. Um, when I'm attending a meeting and seminars, official meeting and seminars, sometimes that's uh, four days, one week, two weeks or so. In, um, um, foreign country like Thailand, uh, Bangkok, Indonesia. I, I couldn't get the, that time. I have to bring my own stuff, everything. So I have to put my extra luggage for that. Most of the time, I bring all the stuff like rice and other nuts and few fruits. Uh, this kind of things I uh, bring that. And another one, the mini rice cooker. Uh, flowers and other things like all I bring together with me so one extra luggage I have to pay extra luggage and um, sometimes I uh, cannot um, in a in, in few weeks uh, two weeks 
uh, if you think two weeks means uh, sometimes uh, that is a problem. Some hotels not, uh, not allowed to. I just uh, cook a simple one, although I have to bring a few things to me. Yeah. So some hotels uh, don't allow to do this one all. So that time I have to go out, outside. I, I select the, the any other garden or anything nearby. So I go and put, I just I cook over there. Lah. I find out the place. That is the difficult time. Most of the time, I just uh, do my uh, one meal or two meal only. Lah. Most, uh, most of the time, I do uh, two meal, like the fruits and nuts only, and drinks. Uh, so that is a difficult thing uh, in my this uh, life. Other than that, no. That, that one also already be used and now I don't really accept that like two weeks or so last uh, last year I went to uh, Indonesia uh, Yogyakarta so there's a two weeks more than two weeks uh, I think I can manage it well so no problem I see I see so, so I think the main challenges that uh, Mr. Sangha you face is the, to get the food the healthy food and also how to reduce uh, okay. the weight as you prepare your food yeah. See. yeah, I mean, it's not easy to carry all these uh, items with you wherever you go. Hmm. Um, so, hi, Kailin. Uh, uh, those of you who are with us, uh, please don't be shy to share with us as you practice your zero waste uh, lifestyle. What is the challenge that you face? So, just send it in in the comments so that we can also uh, echo with you with what you have faced. And yeah. All right. How about Miss Jo? Is there any difficulties that you face uh, as you practice or you adjust, you need to adjust to when you practice this zero waste uh, lifestyle? Uh, the most difficult adjustment that I make is I can't have a uh, bubble milk tea, whatever I want. Yeah. 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 So whenever I forgot my tumbler, I, I couldn't just uh, just have my bubble milk tea. Correct, correct. And okay. there is also certain brand actually doesn't accept tumbler as well. I see. First, yeah. And precisely, they are the brand that you like to drink, right? <laughs> uh, sometimes not. Sometimes you just haven't tried try this brand that you wanted to try. But uh, actually, I then see. when I go there, they doesn't accept the dump. I see. I see. I mean, yeah. when you were there in front of the shop, yet you, 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 you remember that your bottle is at home and you forgot to bring it out. So probably it's just right in front of you, yet you cannot drink it. So I know it's uh very hard sometimes you know so um, is there a reason like uh why the shop doesn't accept uh bottles like uh, there, bottle yeah there are many reasons uh one of these of course is the hygiene problem they don't know whether you're clean or not and they maybe they need to wash your bottles and mm -hmm. also their sop they do not have uh, this kind of sop uh from mm -hmm. top down so and then yeah. also sometimes actually top down have the information but it's not cascade down so there are actually some of the brand i actually feedback to the hq uh, saying that I, I couldn't use my tumbler at this branch uh, then they are very surprised because they say that actually their brand is actually allowed so and then yeah then, then i think they would they talk to the their branch so after that i try again to the branch and, and they actually now they're accepting the That's tumbler something. Yeah. See, that's that's good. That's good because there are uh, sometimes that I, as I buy the bubble milk tea, I I think I'm the like as from what I understand is that they haven't encountered any customer asking if they can fill up the water water uh water their own water bottle in with the bubble milk tea. So they seems quite surprised with that. Yeah, so yeah. and after that they reluctantly helped me to fill up the bottle <laughs> so i think it's a good start we are if we are if we request and somehow people are adapting to it i think it's a good start lah. then yeah. for cases like this right now we understand the mco still uh there are times when we want to drink bubble tea but you know even more so the hygiene is at stake people are even more so concerned thinking about the hygiene so what would be your advice to those people who are still craving for bubble milk tea yet they cannot or uh, the water bottle is not accepted anymore? Uh, first is drink less. Uh, second, Healthy. try to change to other sweet drinks. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I think what we're craving is the sweet the sweet drinks and not mm -hmm. actually the bubble milk tea. Bubble milk tea just 
one of the things that remind you the the goodness of the sweet drinks. <laughs> so try to change to other things. Yeah. Absolutely. Like one of the things uh, we can suggest here is kombucha. You know, there are a lot of uh, people are starting out with uh, kombucha. Even Outback store also selling. So it's made out of fresh food. So it's also sweet and sour at the same time, and it's healthy, right? Yes. So maybe people can actually switch to that uh, more healthy option instead of bubble milk tea. Uh, I'm not, I'm not defending for kombucha or bubble milk tea. Just my point of view, okay? Just my point of view. All right. So um, okay, thank you. And how about do you, how do you stay motivated throughout the whole session? Uh, throughout the whole practice of your zero waste uh, lifestyle because I understand that um, after you share your challenges you know it's a uh, it's a uh, sometimes it will be very tough for you to stay motivated like wherever Mr. Sangha you want to travel overseas you still remember there are so many things that you have to carry with you so sometimes it can be difficult a bubble milk tea you know right in front of you so how do you actually stay motivated Mr. Sangha? Yeah, um, this is uh, one important question. Uh, myself, uh, always I think about the earth. That is, uh, I concern on the earth. Uh, and another one, I just uh, with the principle, we are the last generation who can save the earth. So I have to do something for the earth. So most of the students in my life, they are except uh, this one as uh, their own. Also, my hope is only student. That's why I'm motivated by the student, my students, you know. Uh, okay, this is a one uh, example. When they transferred me to Bayan Lepas, as they did from Sugayara to Bayan Lepas. So I transferred the uh, first of uh, uh, November. I just came to the school on 5th of the... I just uh, officially, I take the charge on uh, next week uh, by the uh, fifth of the number, I think, by around that. On that day, first, my first assembly, I can see all the students, they already find out the things about me, they know I am interested on in this zero waste. I can, so first day, 90% of the new school students, they are bring their own Tupperware and their own uh, water bottle. Plus, and still some few kindergarten students also they use the uh, straw with the metal straw. So this is uh, a surprise. I say, why you all? Uh, this is uh, your habit or whatever. They say they already search about me in uh, Google, Internet, and everything. They say this master like these kind of things. He's uh, so most of the students, teachers also. I uh, can see that uh, most of the teachers are bring their own tapa. So that's uh, very motivated me because they know, they know, not only because I'm the headmaster, uh, they, they think this is a good, they, they implement this because uh, they before that they implement, but not uh, successfully. After I came here, they said the headmaster like this and this, so we, we can cope, uh, cope up with them. So most of the students, uh, after that, they do more the things, most of the, these kind of things you can see my FAFB. So this is keep me the motivate. And this one, uh, once a while, I face uh, one motivator, great motivator in uh, Penang, he's a secondary school teacher. He's uh, uh, still now he's in, uh, in that group. I phoned to one of the, my teacher and asked, who is the man who collect the rubbish with the student in a, this a certain place? So he complained about he is a motivator also. So he complained to the, uh, the teacher and asked the teacher the address of uh, how we can contact the headmaster. But my teacher told that is the headmaster, you know. <laughs> the, the collect rubbish one is a headmaster. Huh? Headmaster. He, he, he surprised. Surprise. Oh, he surprised that. Oh, the headmaster collect. Uh, they said this is a uh, mislead the student. Uh, they said, uh, he said, he told the teachers, uh, the headmaster mislead the student. Uh, so after that, I I called back him. I just told him. Uh, then I cancel all the program with, uh, in my school. Because we are very strict with this. Most of the NGOs who want to collaborate with the school, they must practice zero waste. If my student want to attend the seminar, of course, I first ask, first thing I ask them, are you 
uh, deliver the food or with the, this one or plastic the the Tupperware or anything. No, they said no means uh, my student will bring the Tupperware. My student bring the Tupperware. Uh, that kind of them, they will motivate some others also. Uh. So most of the students, they apply this this in uh, their life. And in most of the shops in Sumayara at that time, they know. If there's a no plastic, mean they, they, they already identified that. Oh, this is a Sumayara student, Sumayara parents. Like that. They say no plastic means they already know about that. That is motivate me. Uh, most of the people can change. Actually, they can change to this way of life. Okay. I see. I mean, um, it's such a wonderful uh, trademark that you built, or uh, 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 how to say, uh, symbolic that you built for SJKT Sungai Ara. Wherever they go, they know that this uh, the people from SJKT Sungai Ara. I mean, if whenever we see kids, even kids, they can practice better than us even like just carry their own Tupperware or water bottle, it's already very influencing, you know, it's already very positive to us saying that if they can do, why um, the adults can't, you know, it's just, uh, we just need a little bit more effort, a little bit more uh, uh, effort to actually make it work together. So, yeah, I can see that now, uh, Mr. Sangha, you are actually, you have actually built up a lot, a lot of uh, this uh, green warrior for the future. So we hope that more and more teachers, and not only teachers, parents, or even for us, uh, sister, elder sister, or uh, elder brother, can actually influence our uh, younger generation. But for Miss Jo, how do you actually stay motivated for the session? Yeah. Uh, by the way, I really love uh, Mr. Sangha say we are the last generation saving the earth. Yeah. I think there's many people doesn't realize that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for me, is uh actually is more like a habit uh rather than a, a motiv motivated things to do. So uh, w once you are conscious, you are not able to be unconscious anymore. That's what I feel. Uh, it's just that uh, some of the time you might have. Uh, uh, you might make mistake. Uh, you might you might have done uh, something uh, like I say, it's a cheat moment. It's it's like uh, if you are on a diet, you have a cheat day. So it's things like that. But this thing is a very long journey, and uh, you have to keep going. There are, there are times that we we fell down and we get up uh, we get back up again. But it's a it's a long time goal that we need to look at. So don't uh, you don't you, you surround yourself with uh, the correct people, of course, and then uh, that's keep keep you keep you all to go through this the, this long journey. But it's a long journey, so allow yourself to fall and don't stress yourself. That's most important. To me. Mm, yeah, that's right. Um, that's uh, everything start with the time error, so you don't have to really you know start. Practicing your zero waste with having everything clear off from your life. Like you can start one by one, maybe start reducing from plastic, then slowly and uh, stop one of your heavy from plastic bag, maybe straw, then after that. So, and most importantly, from what Miss Jo sharing, I understand that we need to be, we need to surround with people who have the like mindset so that they can motivate us and also we can actually share ideas how we can practice differently from our life. Yeah, so wonderful. I mean, uh, from both of your sharing, we understand that actually zero waste lifestyle can be a very straightforward and simple way of living our life, you know, don't have to bother to get everything um, by ourselves. And for now, we are coming to the last uh, question for me. Okay, so what would be your advice for those people who are thinking of trying uh, zero waste lifestyle? Mr. Sangha? Yeah, actually, this one is uh, not uh, um, advice, this is a uh, most like a uh, reminder. Reminder, we are the. I just uh, sick on that. We are the last uh, generation can do something for the climate change. 
this is our final chance. Only this is our generation for future students or children, for your children. So no one coming to help us on this matter. We are the in the front line of all this. Okay. So uh, although we see the COVID nineteen pandemic, CM uh, the MCO. After this, uh, although the carbon uh, emission is uh, low carbon emission also, I can see now there is a terrible, most of them uh, uh, use uh, plastic more than that. I think there is a research will come soon. I think we we'll are waiting for that because another one, the, the face mask also. Uh, another one, they, most of them, they have to buy the food. They, we can't uh, effort for the top power and this one maybe a late or that. So what we should understand this experience. So we have to do something. So please, uh, at least we start the, with the simple way. Just uh, uh, for myself, I, I usually I say uh, first thing I do. Most of them, the last uh, thing they do is uh, avoid, refuse. For myself, I see. So I think I refuse already. I say I do what. If there is a no chance, means I don't take. But most of people, there is a problem. But at least they can reduce a plastic. The, at least the single use plastic that is a very important so last time i got a project with my student so this year also i just i want to put for the environmental day at least one day they can reduce how many we we teach them that so at least we do in a beginning we, we just don't use the uh, single use plastic if uh, although we cannot use the top up now that's uh, serious so most of them are cooked in house but after the conditional MCO, they already started again. So still we can see the uh, higher trash in everywhere. So please, uh, only that uh, we must uh, care of our mother earth. There is uh, nobody can help us in this matter. We uh, have to do something. For me, nothing. I am already uh, near to 60 years old. So there's uh, nothing for me. But for the future, they should uh, take uh, necessary action for our future students or future kids. That is a very important. So the awareness is very important. Uh, in this time, I thank all the NGOs and uh, environmentalists who are not uh, good. Some of them got a hidden agenda. I know about that. They are not working uh, sincerely, uh, sincerely for this. But most of them are working for that. So we are great to them. So we have to follow them and do something for them. That's why I connect, with, uh, collaborate with uh, most of the NGOs uh, who are uh, help to uh, reduce the carbon emission and everything. Because uh, myself, I implement SDG, Sustainable Development Goal. So I hope uh, there is a chance that most of the school can implement this is very in simple way. Very simple. The, the, uh, if the principal, the principal, the one means uh, they can do in a simple way because this is uh, not uh, much. Uh, so after a few weeks, uh, the school most probably will open means a million of students will come to the school with the face mask. So what happened? What is going to happen? If there is a no cloth uh, face mask, means there's a problem also. Million of students will uh, out to the school. So they should know what is the seriousness of uh, these uh, issues and this one so do at least each people do uh, each people can reduce one uh, single plastic use for day also enough now that is uh, great for our mother earth okay that is uh, my reminder uh, not an advice reminder we must do for ourselves because this is uh, for us not for others you know this is not a matter of you or me all of the throughout the world they they got a uh, short seriousness they should realize what to do and they should take uh, immediate action on this time this is a uh, right time so after this you cannot say uh, we already left all the things we cannot say so we can after that like pandemic this uh, the pandemic covid 19. so you see this is a one of the experience to us if this happen means uh, other than that we can happen other things also the, the climate this is a uh, actually uh, i know the scientists all already uh, give a reminder uh, remind us that this is not a, the, the pandemic is not a big issue you know 
actually according to them the climate change is more than uh, this so that means they have to aware of this and uh, we must create more awareness and we must practice that is important no awareness only must practice all the i, I hope the moves of the i, I am happy with both of the ybc uh, I meet them in an interview and anything, uh, they bring with their own uh, water bottle and everything. I, I'm very aware uh, this one uh, because most of them, in most of the Facebook, my, my Facebook friends all, uh, they, I can see the slightly the change to the zero waste life. I can see, I can see, I, without the, their, their concern, I can see them, they, they change a bit uh, face by face. I can know. Okay, that's a good uh, this one, but uh, hope uh, most of the people I can come to this meal, this whole way of life. Okay, thank you. Agree, agree. Thank you, Mr. Sangha. Because as uh, you have mentioned, actually, I think COVID pandemic is just a, uh, 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 an, another issue, but I can see that climate change will be another bigger way of problems if we don't address it or we don't start to change from our daily lifestyle. So like what you have been doing all this while lead by example i think it's a best way to actually influence uh, the younger generation or the people around you to start to do something different so you don't have to start something big but start from yourself practicing reduce either plastic like i mentioned or straw or any items that you think it could be a waste after that you want to start to do something or reduce it yes why not you can start from yourself how about Miss Jo? What would be your advice for those who are trying to practice a zero waste? Uh, yeah. uh, there are a lot of things to do uh, in the five R's. Uh, I would suggest to start with two things first. So first one. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone. Uh, is to always bring your container whenever yeah, you go. Yeah, make sure you write uh, down the notes. Always uh, bring your container whenever you go, open your car. Container. Yeah. Then, <laughs> The, the second one is uh, prepare your shopping list so so that you don't buy anything that is not in your list uh, because if you want something else that's not in your list uh, make sure the next day you're still thinking about it then only you, you buy that things so that we don't buy things that we don't really need then the third one is to join zero waste malaysia group uh, i don't have any loyalty in this group but uh, i think it's a very good supporting group that you can join there are a lot of information there and if you have any question, you can post over there, and there are people that are uh, always ready to help you. Yeah. yeah. So there are three tips shared by Miss Cho. Correct me if I'm wrong. First is to carry your tumbler or food container wherever you go, so that wherever you want to drink anything, probably is not in front of you, you can have it. You know, you can buy it with your bottle, water bottle. Second one is plan your shopping list ahead, so that you don't buy things that you don't need, or you don't buy things that you already have at home. Okay, so plan your shopping list. Third is to join in a community with the same mindset so that you can learn from them at the same time you can also influence people who are new to this. Okay, so wonderful advice from uh, both of our guests. Thank you very much. And as I was uh, sharing with you guys on the question, we have a lot of audience that have been so active and so have been sharing a lot of, of their recommendations and questions. So can we uh, have the first question pop in so that let's see what audience what our audience have. Okay, this question posted by um, Zara, if I pronounce her name wrong, sorry. So um, he asked if we are thinking of if we are thinking of starting, what type of veggie would you recommend me to start with? Uh, especially if we have limited experience with edible plant. I think this question uh, more uh, related to Mr. Sangha as you share your plans when you started veg to become a vegetarian. So what veggie would you start? I think what you mean is uh, to start planting with. Uh, planting is simple one. It's a chili and lady sugar. And other than that, uh, the vegetables, all kind of vegetables are very easy. In the small pot also, we can uh, plant that one. So other than that, the, 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 we don't need to plant a big, big uh, size. This one, the simple one is uh, the vegetables and some of the, uh, the, the, you see the like the lady's finger, brinjals, brinjals all very easy. 
brinjal yeah. very easy brinjal and this uh, lady's finger chili chili is uh, very easy mm. and other than that the kind of uh, vegetables like uh, the, the uh, which can also that is a very simple one we can use every day in the life yeah like uh, what mr sangha have said you know chili or brinjal or lady finger or my pumpkin is a very simple one but we need a place yeah we need, we need a big place because you crawl and stuff right or uh, we can start with radish uh, white radish it's also fairly easy so that one is more uh you can plant it even in your own condo all you need is just pot and soil you don't need a big plant so you can even plant those veggie okay so uh, we have uh, the next question from Ike. Um, she asked how to avoid food packaging because most of them are already uh, packaged, are already in the packaging store, so like cheap and snack. How to avoid food packaging? Like wherever they still craving for that. So how can we avoid that? Uh, maybe that one, uh, Miss Jo, you would like to take this question? Yeah, uh, actually go to uh, Indian Street, Peter India. Mm. Yeah, a lot of shops still selling those food in box. Ah. Not only my shop, lah, huh? Other, uh, if it, <laughs> Little India is uh, very accessible to most of the people as well. Chips, so, like that? You, you don't have twisty, of course, uh, but uh, <laughs> you have a lot of in, uh, Indian, yeah. Indian snack as well. Yeah, Yeah, I think the snack is also, they also taste good. You all should try. So for your Ahmad store, also you do sell chips like this? Uh, no, we don't have. Okay, but we have I nuts see. and nuts and uh, granola things like that. I see. All right. So yeah, it's time for you to explore uh, Little India. There are a lot of good food there. I tried before. That kueh is very nice. Okay. So we have uh, a question from Kylie. Uh, she asked about how to go zero weight, zero plastic for new norms. A lot of people order food for delivery. Starbucks also don't allow us to use tumbler. Yeah, that's what I face also. And disposable face mask, plastic, uh, PPE become a necessary and any R&D team uh, form to create a safe, reusable PPT. So I think the first question, maybe uh, Miss Jo, you would like to take that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, a lot of people order the deliveries. Uh, mm -hmm. It's good that you find, find out uh, what, are the, what are the packaging they use. Actually, uh, if it's you know those that square container, that's are that are recyclable. So instead of in plastic bag, uh, choose the one that is recyclable. So uh, you, if you know five R, uh, we go by the level. So if whatever if you if you don't order delivery is the best. We, you hit the refuse one, then we can eliminate mm -hmm. that. But if you have to buy, uh, buy those that is recyclable packaging. So at least we can recycle those. And then from recyclable uh, things, uh, you can know uh, how to say, find out the carbon footprint on each type of material. Like if you, are, if you want to drink sweet drinks, drink from tin, aluminum tin, because uh, uh, when recycle, this lost the most uh, minimum uh, energy during recycle process instead of plastic. Plastic, we lost a lot of uh, energy uh, throughout the recycling process. Mm, yeah. I think tin is also more has the higher price compared to plastic bottle. I'm not sure, yes, but it's yes. what I understand. Mm. So try to pick some packaging that is recyclable, or uh, you try if possible try to reduce it. All right, and we have the second question from Kylie just now. She asked about a uh, disposable mask. Yes, uh, it's uh, somehow become a next norm. I would say. So for this case, I believe just now Mr. Sangha have shared with us on uh, the face mask. Maybe Mr. Sangha, you would like to uh, share a bit more on what your school has already initiated with the face mask to your students. Yeah, we already uh, get a, a tailor. I, one of my friends, I asked uh, her to, can you help us to produce a, uh, can can one day they can prepare one one tailor can prepare 70 like he got one tailor only i asked them to i already got already already yesterday i posted in my fb uh in minimum charge only minimum charge is uh 
uh, RM2 to Ringgit only. So there's a tree tag for kids and for the middle and another one uh, large, a bit large. We already got, uh, now we got uh, 700 pieces. We already prepared before the school start. So now I'm collaborating with some others. We want to give also some other people if they need. We can give uh, free use, so never mind, no problem. Actually, they need means we have to give. We must do something. We must start. So that is uh, my, this one not for the uh, business. This one not for business. Uh, this one I have to give. So I already talked with uh, most of the people who really need means they can contact us. Uh, we can uh, give them, uh, give to them uh, as a uh, free. And some other, some of them already give a support. They want to buy from us. So we give to them, uh, then we use their money. Uh, my school board and peer review, so they said can, we can do for our student free first. After that, we can wait for others. Uh. So this is the cheapest price. Uh, only we can do this. Uh, because a uh, million of students will come. If every uh, each and every school got an initiative for this, sure God, I saw in uh, Facebook there is a one uh, standard five student. Mm -hmm. uh, she, uh, she can do the, this one. I shared the, the post. In this, uh, this is the I say this is a happening. This is a communitarian way. We should appreciate that uh, that uh, student. I think one student in uh, I don't know. I share the post in my FB also. So at least a standard five student can do this for the. So the every school can take initiative for this uh, because this is uh, our part. I can do something for the this uh, reduce the face mask because that day I saw from my school by the pass to my house will go. On. I can see most of the 30 over, 30 over in the, on the roadside. That's I can see by the car. I uh, drive my car and can see the, the face mask every day they, they, they throw. That is a very difficult time to see that one. Lah. So I think uh, we have to collect that one also. Lah. How to, I don't know. When I can do this uh, job, I want to start. So that is a reason. I agree. So switch to uh, the kind of mask that can be reused. Maybe would be our uh, the solution that is shared by uh, Mr. Sangal. Okay, so their school is actually doing. So if you are interested later, you can drop him a message. And we have a question from Josephine. Um, she asks, online purchasing has been a new trend, and especially during MCO period. So usually we will face excessive packaging such as bubble wrap and plastic film, and so on and so forth. So. Um, what would be the advice of your uh, advice and suggestion to reduce the waste? Um, that one, Miss Joe, would you like to take yeah. this? Uh, actually, I actually made a video about this uh, just not long ago. Yeah, uh, actually, those packaging are are reusable. So what we do for our online sales, uh, actually, we collect. I, I collect uh, from my friends those uh, packaging. Uh, boxes or plastic packaging that they buy online so i just reuse it i just uh, we can just tear, uh, peel off the the previous label uh, mm -hmm. then and then you can we can reuse of course we have a cut properly yeah, when we when we unpack so if you if you're buying online and you have this kind of packaging mm -hmm. uh, please uh, there's a group uh, in facebook called berlin nothing project you can always post uh, you can always uh, put it up on this group and there, there are people that are looking for that and they will reuse for their for their online sales. Ah, okay. So those of you who ask this question, remember to jot down the important notes. Even myself, I also overlook this. But so Berlin Nothing is somewhere you can um, post your those uh, boxes that you bought from uh, online delivery or online shopping. You can post it there. There are people who are willing to collect and eventually uh, reuse it to send out for their sales and for their delivery, is it? Yes. All right, yes. wonderful. Okay, so thank you, Ms. Jo. And we have uh, another question from Kylie. Um, if we, she asked if we buy drinks like bubble milk tea that use plastic cup with recycle sign and we wash it and send the cup for recycling, does it mean that these are not practice of zero waste or what, basically, what Kylie asks is uh, zero waste. Does it include the recycling part? Yeah, I think that's the question. If I'm not asking, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. 
Mrs. Sangha or Joe? Yeah. Uh, the cup is recyclable, but the seal is not. So be aware that what you what you use. So uh, if you look at the bubble milk tea cup uh, or any other uh, packaging, look at the below. There's a sign. Uh, if it's five, uh, it's a, one kind of uh, plastic type that can be recycled. So uh, including those, it's the same material uh, with those square container pack, food packaging. So number five is recyclable. And yes, uh, recycle, recycle is in five hours. So uh, don't, how do I say? Uh, don't be too stressed on yourself whether you are practicing zero waste or not zero waste. But do whatever you can and you feel is right for the environment. Yeah. Mm. Um, I think recycling is part of the process. La. So if we can do that, it's good. But if we can reduce, even better, I would say so. Right. Mr. Sangal, do you have anything you want to top up on this part? I this think question? same. Uh, don't don't complicate with the zero waste and the uh, reuse and these things. Done. We can upcycle and everything. At least we do something. Beginning uh, stage, we do something for the earth. Mm -hmm. Only that is uh, important. Later, there will be uh, changes will be happen. I I hope that uh, that is uh, now. There's uh, this uh, period. We cannot uh, refuse everything. That's all, all people cannot refuse everything. So they have to take time to change a bit by bit. But at least she got a concern on the uh, zero waste. And this one, we need to work for the zero waste. And at least we can do other things, refuse, reuse, recycle, or anything. Okay. okay. Hmm. We, we have a comment uh, from Xu Shen, this thing. Um, she said that there are many types of plastic has been rejected by collectors in Johor Bahru. Supply and demand of the recyclable is still a challenging issue. That's right. Um, because the rate of our consumption and the rate of recycling is definitely sky and, uh, and you know, it's, it's, it's very big uh, gap apart. So the best way is still to reduce as much as we can. Uh, okay. So and do we have the next question uh, any other question that uh, our audience would like to know about okay i think now we uh we still have uh one more we still can take in one more question if there is any if there's any uh audience um of course once you all have shared the uh, uh, comments or the suggestions, there are a lot of uh, time people already post up the link, like really nothing project. So it's very accessible for the audience, you know. So we still have Priscilla saying that. You see, there are people posting the link. So if you are curious how you can do, please feel free to click the link that's shared in the comment. So how you can do from that. All right. So we have one last question from uh, Naveen. He asks, what is your tactic for influencing people about why they should refuse plastic? Mm. So, um, Mr. Sangha, would you like to... Yes, uh, your tactic, uh, this is uh, not a tactic actually. We are practicing this. In my way, I, I ask the students, they are powerful. Because the parents will listen to the students. <laughs> Always they, they, they care of the student. So I just I use the tactic. Yeah, this is one of the, my tactics also. I said, I explain to the student what is the risk of this uh, use, uh, single use plastic and everything. After that, they go and explain to their parents. And most of my students, I know, I know about that. The parents, uh, after that, they, they quarrel with me. Every time this and that, uh, my so my kid will tell this one cannot be go market means they say this one cannot, that one cannot, must bring this. They should, because if I advise means they won't hear yeah, about that. They say yeah. this is unusual, la, all the people teachers like that. But if their kids told to them means, tell to them means they have to do, because they, they feel, some of them, uh, still, my parents, a uh, few of them are stop smoking. I appreciate the student. They said, you are not a good father. Because my student will challenge the parents. They said, you are not good father for me. Because the, the smoking is not good. You inside the home, you smoke. Uh, these kind of students, we can produce the student. Only that is uh, my technique. La. I use the student. That is not a, 
Uh, this is a good meal. We, we uh, teach them, they can apply in home. So the parents, uh, anyhow, they follow the children because they know they cannot lie to the children. They have to hide uh, anything they do. So this is my way. I, I do because I'm in this field. I do that easily. I can do. That's why in every uh, in lesson, uh, I ask my teachers to do this kind of uh, awareness in the teaching. Uh, after that, you'll see the impact of this. Very good, very good impact. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But we, from kids, you know, from younger generation, that's the best uh, influence. Okay, we have a question from Elaine. Um, I think we can still take in one or two more questions. Uh. Since we already have a very great session with you all, then I can see a lot of great questions also coming up. So Elaine, she asked, uh, was wondering if there is uh, there are options to return water such as dishwash, uh, water and cloth detergent and so on, back to the brand uh, distributor. Is there any option right now in Penang or in Malaysia happening? Instead of recycle, can we send them back for reuse lesser carbon footprint? Mm, Miss Jo, do you came across something like that? Mm, unfortunately, uh, in Malaysia, no. Mm -hmm. As I know, uh, doesn't have any brand that uh, take back. Uh, they do take back, but they are recycling. They are recycling it. They are not reusing it. So mm -hmm. the best is shop in my shop. <laughs> uh -huh. So we do have a refill option to, for those detergents. So just take your empty bottle and come and refill. Sorry for the advertisement. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. I mean, now that people know there is actually a place where you all can reduce from that. So remember, if you want to buy detergent, and uh, shampoo also has. Yeah, yes. wash. Yeah, so bring your water and go refill that. Okay, so that's a better way to reduce. And we have a question from Jimmy. Um, great sharing of Mr. Sangha and this show. So just a question, how you deal with the comment when you announce to people that you are living zero waste lifestyle, but certain action of us is still creating waste, like not knowing, oh my God, I'm, I just create another waste. So how, how, how do you deal with that? Like people will, you know, usually some people will judge like, hey, I thought you are living zero waste. So yeah, Mr. Sangha. Yeah, myself, uh, actually, there is uh, my school is uh, uh, always in school and home also I use this uh, zero, uh, there's uh, no um, dustbin in uh, school. So in my school, everything I I use, that, all the things I use, most uh, more or less in my home also same. Uh, I sometimes my kids, uh, my son uh, or daughter, they buy a bread and this one, only that, that kind of things. Uh, I use the plastic for other things. That uh, the, the plastic of the bread and this one necessary. Uh, not myself, I won't buy. But my son, daughter, then the this kind of things. And my, I do back then most of that I do it's uh, eco break and other than things like what can we use that only that we do but in school I already 100% there is a no dustbin in my school there is a 100% we uh, use all the things because this is a time myself in a school I can teach them everything that the food waste and the uh, uh, plastic, there's uh, no plastic in my school other than that, really, and everything I use uh, compost and uh, food base to the, become a compost, and everything I do for that. So, that is exactly my school is uh, uh, zero waste. La. There is uh, no, no, nothing. All the students, uh, if they bring, uh, most of the students never bring anything. In function, also, we are all green. Our function, school function teachers, they uh, no birthday celebration in school. We, we do so birthday, we do our own cake and everything. So, 100% in school, I manage this. In home, there's uh, still got the, the plastic and this. Right? We use uh, for eco brick and other than that, we use the plastic for that. Okay, that is uh, my wish. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, just now, thank you, Mrs. Sangha. Just now, Miss Jo also mentioned something about this, right? So don't be too hard on yourself, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, you, you mentioned saying that everything that's a trial and error. So uh, it's okay how people judge you, but as long as you know what you're doing, it's for the rest of the environment, then just proceed ahead. Okay. So, um, all right. Uh, we have a question from Jojo. 
She asks, how far are we in this journey of being sustainable country? So it would be helpful uh, and encouraging for us to know how far we have come and how far we still need to go. So do you, in your point of view, um, Mr. Sangha and Ms. Jo, do you think Penang in Malaysia, we are practicing sustainable, like where are we right now? Too far. <laughs> Too far, too far from, from going yeah, we, we are not a uh, sustainability. This uh, pandemic COVID-19 already shown us uh, that is uh, our uh, Malaysian uh, attitude. Most of the Malaysian, uh, i sorry to say that, uh, they are, don't care about this. Only a few of them uh, realize and they do something for the earth. This one for them, uh, they... they do just simply they throw up. You can see the in my. Just, uh, I just I uh, inform you that uh, in my uh, nearby my home got uh, all our teachers. You know all our teachers in my quarters. <coughs> I stay in my quarters every day. I got a recycle things. Uh, early morning I collect the recycle from there. Most of them they see. Uh, sometimes I wear the tie and the shirt uh, with office, and sometimes I wear the corporate shirt. I collect the uh, all the recycle and keep in the school. So I think uh, more or less I already got a few hundred uh, ringgit worth recycle thing in my school. I already keep here. I want to uh, try to sell it. So that means uh, that is the only recycle thing. Uh, I, I early morning, I just uh, I spend uh, five or ten minutes to collect this one or in nearby my house. That means uh, every day I can see the, the uh, trash, lot of trash. There is uh, more than uh, before before the pandemic COVID nineteen. So that means we are so far, too far to that. So we have to do something. That is uh, my. Mm. That means because we see on the newspaper and some of the place like Sukai Pinang River has been clean, but yet, hey, where did the rubbish go? Maybe it goes somewhere else, somewhere that we didn't see instead of the place that we, come, we usually see in the river and everything. Now they go somewhere else. So, yeah, how about Miss Jo? What do you think of this? Uh, say anything also very discouraging. <laughs> Yeah. It's never enough, I would say. So, uh, okay. we I, I feel we are better than uh, some of the country around us already, but uh, it's never enough. So keep going. All right, keep trying. Okay. All right. Uh, one last question from uh, Aiki. Uh, she asks, uh, Miss Jo, will you start another branch somewhere in Penang? Just a quick one. <laughs> not, not at the moment, uh, not in the plan. Okay, okay, not in the plan. Uh. If you want, you can visit the Alba store that's existing right, right now, okay? And but we, um, we are going, sorry, uh, but we are going online now, so uh, see. you guys can order online. Mm. Okay, um, Kylene also asked, should MPP actively and seriously find people who simply throw rubbish? Uh, that one, I think, we should post that to MVP and we will take note of that of, uh, of course. Thank you Kylie for your uh, pinpointing out the questions or the problems. All right. So I think our session almost came to the end and thank you so much uh, Mrs. Sangha and Miss Jo for your insightful uh, sharing and you know, I believe most of our audience have a great takeaway and a lot of them uh, me myself uh, learn new things uh, from uh, you, your sharing and also from the audience sharing. So um, thank you very much, uh, audience, uh, all of you all, for your active participation and question. I can see that um, positive vibe from you guys uh, who are, you know, still showing your concern to the environment despite of this challenging period of time. Um, it's something really uh, motivating for us, uh, all of us, to keep on going because we know that there are still people doing the same like us, trying their best to practice what they can practice. Okay, so I would like to uh, end the session uh, with this quote. We don't need a handful of people doing zero waste perfectly, but we need millions of people doing it imperfectly. So don't bother about the concept of zero waste, don't bother about living sustainably. Most importantly, starting for yourself, what can you do from the 
uh, things around you, okay? Well, let it be recycle, reduce, start from something today, okay? So for those of you who want to find out more about Mr. Sangha or Miss Jo Zero uh, Ways Daily Practice, uh, remember to follow them on their Facebook page as stated in the food chloral uh, below. So you can see a lot of uh, interesting sharing or interesting ideas shared by both of our guests on how uh, you can practice uh, zero waste uh, or can reduce your waste. Uh, I would say that you can reduce your waste from a daily lifestyle. Okay, thanks again, uh, Mr. Sangha and Ms. Jo for your insightful sharing. And to all the audience who uh, stay, who have been staying with us throughout the whole session and you know participating, thank you. And my team, most importantly, for supporting me uh, behind the stage and you know and the, the session. Thank you very much. So uh, we will be having our second session on the 30th of June. We will be talking about food security issue. So um, please stay tuned with us as well. Uh, just uh, like our Facebook page. I mean, you are already in your Facebook page, right? So if you can follow our Facebook page, we will share our, the latest information, latest update about the next session very soon. So with that, thank you very much for the session and thank you very much, everyone. So see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.